Welcome back to Battletech. In this video, we are going to review the best strategies on how to collect salvage. Going into this, um, we are fairly late into this game. Um, we're basically, we have uh, three assaults that you see here that we're going in with. And just so you all know, we're going in with uh, a few ballistics and LRM uh, or missile options and that'll be very important in here so we're going to review the two primary strategies I am going to bring in the uh, two characters I'm really kind of leveling up right now Behemoth and Mockingbird um, as well as Glitch and Decker so some of those characters are from the early game um, I've spread out my team. A, from a mech warrior standpoint, I've built two tanks. So Behemoth and Medusa both have um, evas evasion, and they're both double talented in the guts uh, as a juggernaut. So they're melee super heroes, so to speak. For Shadow Coast, my main character and the commander are our captain of the group, commander of the group and Glitch are my DPS or damage dealers so they have both have breaching shot and are maxed out on gunnery. Mockingbird is maxed out on tactics she has the two skills in tactics uh, which make her ideal for assault mechs and Decker is maxed out on ace pilot uh, where he can move after he shoots. So we are in a mission where we need to destroy enemy mechs um, we picked this mission to highlight how to get salvage. So I'm going to review some of the best uh, tips and, in my opinion, tricks that you can deploy to ensure that you are maximizing salvage. So let's get right into it. On a high level, the way salvage works, for those of you new to the game, you need to collect, currently you need to collect three pieces. The devs are under review and they might up it to five pieces. Uh, a salvage needed. After you obtain that salvage, uh, what will happen is Yang will automatically assemble that base mech, right? So it'll have kind of the stock loadout in it when he assembles it, assuming you have uh, the parts. I don't know what happens if you don't have enough of of whatever it is. Like if you don't have enough medium lasers, I still think you just get the mech assembled with the base stats. Alright, so we have a 20 ton mech and an 80 ton mech. So here's the deal guys, this 80 ton, regardless of what it is, we're probably going to want to salvage it. Commander? However, this 20 ton mech, I don't really care about. We have a gazillion lights in store. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to focus fire this guy and take him out. He is guarded, but we only need to do 45 damage to a CT. So this is what you should not do. If you want to salvage something, do not shoot its center torso like that and just CT it. Right? When you blow up the center torso, we will now only have one piece of locus salvage. Now this is a Zeus. We don't have a Zeus. So this is a perfect example. I want a Zeus. I don't have one yet. Um, and so we're gonna do our best in class strategy. Now here's one item I should have turned a little more to the to the right to make sure that the damage is the front. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? Right? We have a few options. The first option is to shoot its legs out. If we shoot both legs out on the mech, we get two pieces of salvage. The only way we you know, all right. If we shoot the center and core it, um, then we only get one piece of salvage. If we somehow blow out the cockpit or incapacitate the pilot, we get all three pieces of salvage. Now, this is important, guys. When we look at this mech and we hover over him, he has a scout. Now, you don't have to memorize all the different types of. Um, naming conventions if they're a skirmisher versus a brawler versus a defender the one important thing is because this guy is a scout or this individual this mech warrior pilot and here's a scout they are probably low on guts 
meaning that we probably have to knock them down and cause at least three, pro you know, at max four pilot injuries for us to incapacitate the pilot. And that is the strategy we're going to take here. We're going to do a combo strategy. So first, we want to knock out its legs to ensure that we get at least two. But in doing so, what you notice I'm going to do is I'm going to only do damage that is going to cause some sort of stability damage. So we're going to have missiles, we're going to have ballistics. Here you can see here this does 75 damage, 40 stability damage. Um, so we're going to try to blow out the legs. And we successfully blew out that leg and we knocked him down. Alright. So that's great. What can I do for you? Um we are going to move our other mechs in position. Now I'm gonna be greedy here to to try to show you this strategy um that I'm employing. Realistically what I should have done is jumped her and shot his other leg off, and that guarantees two pieces of Zeus salvage. I'm going to be greedy, and so here's the thing, at the end of the day, I always recommend that you just shoot the legs and, and keep fighting procedural missions um, so you guarantee it faster, right? You guarantee you get it. Now, it's it's frustrating because then you're going to have to wait, keep running missions to encounter another Zeus, right? And I understand that, but the, the best strategy is to knock the legs out. Again, we are going to employ a slightly different strategy, which is more risky, and what I'm going to try to do is... I am going to try to, in to incapacitate the pilot by causing damage consistently. So what you'll notice I'm doing here is I'm building a lot of evasion and I'm moving my units around and I'm bracing them. I'm giving them a chance to stand back up and I'll show you why. Now I actually, what I should have done here is I should have reserved, or actually no I couldn't have. Um, so I guess it was fine that I didn't. All right, so what we're going to actually do here is m melee him. But let's melee him from the back. And the reason that we're trying to melee him now is because we simply want to cause damage and knock him down. So he's unsteady. Now glitch is a hundred melee, hundred melee. Waiting on you, Commander. Oof. We want. S All right. So that's okay if we knock his arms off. So we're gonna just keep meleeing him. Um, I'm turning the small laser off because we're trying to not do damage. We just want to knock him down. We want to incapacitate um, the pilot. So pilot injured, knocked down. All right. Waiting for orders. Um. Again, we command. don't have a choice. But I'm gonna jump over here. Affirmative. Our Highlander has weaponry on it that we, I think we can only get from the primary campaign mission, so we're being very cognizant of that fact and keeping him high on evasion and braced so he doesn't take damage when this guy stands back up. Um, normally we would reserve, but it would, wouldn't let us. We had to... All right, so we knew it was gonna. Sh we didn't know that, but they tend Barely to hit, pick certain mechs. The Highlander's been a hot topic lately. All right, so let's Good to go. let's. All right, so we won't kill it if we melee it. Um. Now it's unsteady. Now here's here's the challenge. We waiting for order. Not the Standing PPC. By. 
115. Commander. 115. 115. I'm nervous I'm gonna just core him. So we're gonna see if he's gonna move and let us reveal his right arm. So that's where we're hitting him. Alright, the rest of these mechs we have a bunch of, so if we lose it. All right, he's coming out. That's all right. Now what we want to do is we want to incapacitate him again. So 95 damage. So what I'm looking here is at the melee. So Mockingbird does 95 damage. If we come in from this angle, we are hitting his right side. So he has an arm and he has more torso armor. This is high risk, high reward. I don't think we missed. Did not see that coming. I don't. Wow, okay. <sighs> Again, if we wanted to be conservative and probably smarter what we would end up doing here is ensuring that we um, meleeed the side so I'm just trying to I'm sorry, if we were if we wanted to be conservative we would just pull the legs off. Commander ha! Don't knock him over. Knock down. Pilot incapacitated. So what we just successfully did guys, excellent work commander, the zone is clear, the board is green, let's go home. Mission. So we incapacitated the pilot. Now that's the way you get three salvage. Again, it is extremely hard to do. We got very lucky. We could have just cored him. So we didn't take any damage. Um, this is our first Zeus. You can see here we have three pieces. So that is how the two primary strategies on how you're going to want to maximize salvage, especially for those hard to find or rare to find mechs. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful or fun to watch, uh, please give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe. And uh, please post comments, suggestions, recommendations. I'm always looking to improve. So I, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to watch.